welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a beautiful colorful look which this look was actually intended for valentine's day i wasn't able to edit and get it out quick enough but this was my look that i done that day we're also going to be using a few of those new aoa products that are face products and new brushes and we're starting off with using the aoa studio setting powder and banana under our eyes which i already done and that is baking and this one is the soft light one it's just a soft kind of powder um these powders are so nice soft and silky um they look amazing on the skin blend out nicely and they don't look cakey plus 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 my favorite one is i'm going to show next actually and it's the brightening one so it kind of has a light shimmery this going on with it and I'm going to apply that in the areas where I want light to hit like where I would normally highlight so I'm going to use that and I like to turn the powders over and tap out uh, the product into the lid these do have sifter caps in them so yes you do have to knock the product out uh, this brush is f8 from the high def brushes and it's just like kind of double angled brush you can use these brushes for whatever you want but personally I thought this one was going to be perfect for contour and I love it for that these brushes are so soft they hardly ever shed the best part about it is they're a dollar so I'm just doing my contour and I'm using the LA colors tan powder for this perfect for the fair tone ladies as a contour and of course I'm taking my elf brush and blending that out and this is F9, and this is a funky kind of weird angled brush as well. Once again, you can use these bl uh, brushes for anything. I'm using the Malibu Glitz blush in Coral. This is extremely pigmented and definitely becomes overpowering if you don't use a light hand. And I really like this brush for this. I just use it to pat it onto my cheeks and once again using the elf kabuki to blend and this butte here is the aoa studio highlighter these are the baked highlighters and cream puff this is such a beautiful highlight it's natural but yet buildable up to a, like a high beam kind of highlight and it's a dollar you can use these wet or dry because they are baked and it's just amazing. Um, the brush I'm actually using is the AOA Studio Highlighting Brush. It's also amazing. And all the products you'll see in this video are a dollar. I absolutely love this. I've used it every day since I got it in the mail. It's amazing. Now I'm using the e.l.f. powder to apply under the eyes to catch fallout. Because we're using a lot of bright colors and there will be fallout. This is also kind of like a throwback tutorial. Because I'm going to be using the 120 version 3. How long has it been since you've seen someone use a 120 palette? But um, starting off with the Milani eyeshadow primer. And of course another throwback product that everybody used to use in the day. Is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Just so the colors have something extra to adhere to. It's a secondary sticky base. And not only that but it's white. So the colors are really going to pop. And just showing the towel there because we will be wiping our brush off in between a lot and I won't show it always. But yes, this is the 120 version 3. So you have like a smoky layer and this bright layer. And this entire look is centered around that one shade that I just showed. I base this look off of that color and I absolutely love it. And I thought this came out perfect for Valentine's Day. So we're going to use our sweeper motion and our circular blending techniques to work that really well into the crease area and i'm going to do quite a bit of blending through this entire look i love this it's a knockoff mac brush but it's great i use it all the time for crease work and just keep building that shade up to where i want it to be and this is a new AOA Studio brush. It's uh, number 112. And it's a pointy crease brush. And I'm using that hot pink, almost red shade there. And 
I'm going to work that into the main crease area using the orbital bone as a guideline so it doesn't go too far. So you still have the transition of colors there. You can definitely see there's two different colors in the crease area and they, they blend very well. Uh, these two shades are matte. I just saw it, it just, it turned out very great. And we're taking this really pretty shimmery pearl pink and applying that all over the lid. Of course, we're gonna pat it, then we're gonna be sweeping and blending that shade in with the other colors as well. This is the only shimmery kind of shade we're using in this look. And I'm just going to go through now and blend and add more colors. Making sure everything is just going to melt together. I'm also taking that beautiful pearly pink shade and applying it on the highest point of my eyebrow. And then I'm taking this nude kind of skin tone vanilla shade that's matte and using that as the actual brow bone highlight to help blend down using that like the magic eraser and blend on all those edges. Now we're taking the matte black in the 120 version 3 and I'm going to apply a bit of that into the outer corner just to add a little bit more depth to the look. It needed something else and that's literally all I'm going to add. And I'm just going to take and start blending with all the shades in my blending brush there too. And I never picked up more color. I just continue to use whatever is left on that pencil brush. And that brush is from Makeup Geek. It's like a pointy crease brush. If you have small lid space and eye space in general, that is a small pointy outer corner brush. And it is great for people with smaller eyes. And here we're going through and adding all of our colors again, blending them out. Once again, making sure everything meshes uh, well. And we're going to take that hot red pink kind of color and apply that to the lower lash line. In the middle, we're going to use the first beautiful bright pink shade we used as our transition color. And in the very inner corner, we're using the pink curly shade. I'm wiping away all the fallout and the excess powder. We're using that Milani Stay Put Eyeliner to tight line the upper waterline as well as go halfway in the lower lash line and waterline. We're also going to be using the Physicians Formula 2 in 1 Eye Booster Eyeliner Pin and we're going to do a very thin line. And we're going to be using the Color Workshop Date Night Eyelashes. It's a very sparse, kind of spiky lash. Not too dramatic and not too natural either. Somewhere in the between. Using the Kiss Lash Glue. Letting that get sticky a bit. And then we're going to apply our lash. I think they look really great. My biggest complaint about these lashes is the band is really thick. And the pre-glue that's already on it was a really thick layer and so I had to put extra eyeliner to help conceal the band and um, just personally too much liner for my taste. I always do this with my lashes but that band was just entirely too thick. Of course we're using the CoverGirl Katie Cat uh, mascara. This has mascara after it dried out a bit is actually really good mascara. So we're applying that all over and also we use the eyelash curlers so our lashes would mesh with the false lashes. Here I'm using the LA Colors Pat Pout Matte Lip Gloss in Let's Kiss. I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day outfitting but it's a beautiful pinky nude shade and it will dry a little bit brighter pink but this is one of the new ones that I got from Shop Miss A. So I thought I would feature that in the video. It's beautiful. I do have a tips and tricks video on uh, those LA Colors lip glosses, so check that out. I uh, really loved, enjoyed, loved and enjoyed doing this look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. 
Thank you all for watching and don't forget to check the description box for additional links and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other makeup tutorials. Thank you always for watching.